Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're gonna to talk about long-term food storage on the cheap. So stick with me. All right, so many of you guys know at CanadianPreparedness.com, we sell mountain house freeze-dried food. We sell backpackers pantry freeze-dried food. There's also a link through there to the Harvest Right freeze-drying company. They're one of the only companies that makes home freeze dryers very expensive stuff. Now that stuff tends to be outside of a lot of people's price range. I would say that it's good to supplement the things that I'm gonna talk about today with freeze dried food, just as a morale boosting thing and just to provide yourself with a little bit of variety and of course, better tasting pre-made meals. But when it comes to survival, the only thing that matters is your macronutrients and your micronutrients and getting them into your system. It's important to remember that when you're hungry, it doesn't matter what the food is gonna taste like because you're gonna be so hungry that even food that you don't like while the getting's good, like right now while we have this cornucopia of foodstuffs at our disposal, it's very easy to be very picky with our palate. And in a crap hits the fan scenario when resources are very scarce, it's not going to be that way. For a lot of people, rice with a little bit of salt or oats with a little bit of sugar is gonna be an absolute luxury. Now, in order to preserve food long-term, uh, you need some buckets. Now, my personal opinion, they don't need to be food grade buckets because we're using five gallon Mylar bags within these buckets. So unlike a lot of the food that does come in buckets that needs to have that seal and needs to be food grade quality, uh, that stuff is poured directly into the bucket. We're gonna be separating the food from the bucket by a sealed Mylar bag with oxygen absorbers. Mylar is a non-porous material, unlike plastic, in which there are tiny little pores within it and over time it's gonna break down. That's not gonna happen in the case of Mylar, which is essentially a form of metal. And now we do sell Mylar bags at CanadianPreparedness.com. These are the five gallon my Mylar bags that you're gonna need for these buckets. We also sell smaller ones. We sell the one gallon. We also sell one gallon Ziplocked. We sell the one quart Ziplocked. And we also sell these little guys, which are great for spices, which we're also going to pack up today. So everything you need to do this, uh, you can find at a wholesale store and CanadianPreparedness.com. It doesn't cost a whole lot of money to do this. You're also gonna need a vacuum, a way to seal the Mylar bags. I usually use a crimper, some people use an iron. And you're also gonna need some oxygen absorbers, which we also sell at CanadianPreparedness.com. These are relatively cheap. I can't remember the price offhand, I'll post it on the screen. Now we live in a day and age where you can go into a wholesale food store and for $100, you can literally walk out with months worth of nutrition. So I just wanna show you some of the things that I have today. So over here, I have some chickpeas, split chickpeas. These chickpeas, they have, it's an amazing amount of nutrition. This was $10, okay? 25 grams of protein in a half a cup, which is 100 grams. This is five kilograms. So 50 times 25, what is that? 1,250 grams of protein. That's enough protein to feed a man for a month. Now, of course, they're not complete proteins. I believe there's one or two essential amino acids which are not had in chickpeas, but that's in the rice. So you combine those two things together and you get a complete protein. Chickpea protein is amazing. There's a, was a show called Seed Hunters and there's people who travel the world in search of rare strains of chickpea because it's one of those superfoods. And 90% of the food variety and the diversity of plant species since the introduction of monoculture agricultural practices are no longer existing, they're extinct. So you can understand why they are stockpiling the seed bolt with all of these rare seeds which might exist in some a small farmer's land somewhere in India or something like that. People travel the world looking for these things. Now here we just have your standard kidney beans. Once again, almost a complete protein, not quite, 
but when supplemented with some basmati rice like this or long grain rice, uh, it's going to be a complete protein. Everything you essentially need to survive. I'm not sure about the fat contents in either of these. I'm going to assume that there's going to be a significant amount of healthy fats in there. And with the exception of some micronutrients that you might be lacking, a lot of those things you can get from various herbs that you would be able to go and forage. Now, right here, we got the king corned beef. Not a lot of people like this stuff. It's not spam. In my opinion, it's much better than spam. You mix this stuff up with some dried onions, some rice, and some soy sauce, you're in heaven. This stuff is absolutely delicious, and it keeps for a long time. This keeps until January 22nd, 2023. So a five year shelf life. So here we have some beef stock. So you would add this to your rice, your beans, give it a bit more flavor. Uh, I'm not sure how long this stuff is gonna keep, to be honest. Uh, most of the research I've read on is kind of mixed opinions, but I'm gonna try to put this in Mylar bags and it's just gonna be a test. If I open it in 20 years and it's, not edible, then I guess uh, I won't be eating it. So beef soup base, 20 bucks for a big thing like that. 40 bucks for the rice, 10 bucks for each of these. I bought some smaller bags of basmati just to round out my buckets that I have here. I also bought some maple syrup. So this was 10 bucks. This is probably the most expensive thing in terms of how many calories you get. Uh, this stuff is probably gonna last forever too. As long as it's 100% maple syrup and it doesn't have all those additives in it. It's the additives that are going to cause an environment for mold to grow and flourish. So get the 100% pure maple syrup, no shortage of that out in places like Quebec. I just have some Ital or roasted garlic and pepper seasoning, something really generic that I'm gonna put into the little packages. I already have a significant stockpile of salt Salt and sugar are one of those things you should absolutely stockpile in mass, if at all possible. Uh, excellent things to stockpile and very cheap right now, but they certainly won't be cheap. Those were the two things in the old world which were the most sought after commodities, salt and sugar. So you're definitely gonna wanna stockpile salt and sugar. Now, this is something that I got from a uh, organic farmer's market type thing. And this is, I'm not sure, I think it's three, kilograms worth of honey. So this is raw honey. This stuff is gonna be worth more than gold. I mean, the amount of bees, the amount of flowers that it takes to produce this, millions upon millions of flowers, just to produce uh, this amount of honey. Honey is gonna last forever. There's probably no real shelf life on it. So long as you keep it in a cool, dry place, you keep pests out of it. Uh, and that's the main thing with these buckets, as long as you keep the mice and the rats out of there. Uh, over here we have some oats. So these are large flake oats. I accidentally, out, I meant to buy quick oats, but I bought the large flake oats, which is fine. Uh, it's not gonna make a huge difference. You mix that with honey or that with maple syrup and you know, you're eating, you're eating like a king. So you got your breakfast and you got your lunch and supper. Now here I just have a big thing of soy sauce, eight bucks for this thing of soy sauce. I don't know how much or how long it's gonna last. It's a very saline environment, so it's gonna be very hard for mold to flourish, but I guess we'll just run a test and we'll see how long it's gonna last. So that's what I picked up today. I should add that these oats, I believe they're about six bucks for a bag. I think that this was about 40 bucks for this big tub of honey, but lots of calories. Uh, uh, honey can be used for a variety of different purposes. You can use it as an antiseptic. You can cook with it. Obviously, uh, it's just would be an excellent thing to barter with. It's nature's candy, really. Much like maple syrup, it's nature's candy. So let's get to packing these up in these Mylar bags. And don't forget, if you need Mylar bags, oxygen absorbers, we have very competitive prices at CanadianPreparedness.com. We do free shipping over $75 to Canada and free shipping over $250 to the United States. I would encourage you to supplement what you see here with uh, the freeze-dried foods. Even if you were to add a little bit of Mountain House to a dish of rice and beans, that can just give it a little bit more flavor, make it a bit more palatable. 
So if you're eating it day in and day out, you know, it's going to taste a lot better and hopefully supplementing it with wild game or whatever else you're able to harvest in those conditions. So let's get to putting this stuff in the Mylar bags. <laughs> 